I'm good, thank you. Uh, okay. I will fill you in. Yeah, I'll take another beer. Montejo. 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 She gets to try on all of these wedding dresses for a Vogue shoot. Now, Jamie had her camera sitting right in front of the coffee table, as she often does. And no pictures were taken of this rather gorgeous, elaborate moment in this movie. Uh, but then, a few minutes later, there's a big scene where she's wearing a huge feather on her head, and she's about to get married to Big, watched this show for nine years, and you've waited for this moment, and she goes up this polished marble steps of the New York Public Library, and all of a sudden her cell phone rings, and she realizes she has a message, and Jamie reaches for her camera, and sure enough, the message is, he's not coming, and she says, he's not coming, he's not coming, get me out of here, and she drops the phone, but Jamie snaps a picture of this moment, I, I promise. Look on her website, it's there on the one Polaroid a day. There's a photo of Sarah Jessica Parker finding out her groom is not coming. So the real reason for this whole elaborate room getting us all to come to Mexico, and all settle in is because, Andrew, you can't get out of here. You're trapped. <laughs> so uh, there will be no running away. Um, uh, and uh, there you have it. So you may think we're here for all sorts of lovely reasons, but scheming than that. But in all serious, actually, I, I actually want to play psychiatrist for a minute because I think there's a number of anxieties that are in the room before a wedding, and I kind of want to do my job tonight and get rid of some of those. I actually want to start in all seriousness with Jamie's parents, Joanne and I guess with Jamie, with Andrew's brothers, and maybe you'll convey this to your mom. I think that um, weddings are as much about a bride and groom as they were parents and the dreams they have for their kids, and I think you spend a lot of time raising kids with an enormous amount of suspense about what will happen, will they be happy, will they find love, and I can say to you both tonight as their parents that despite any mistakes you may have made, like leaving the E off of Jamie's name, uh, <laughs> uh, as your head hits the pillow tonight, you should sleep easy. Really, because you've done a wonderful job of raising beautiful, vibrant kids who love their lives and are generous in how much they give to the people around them. They have an incredible gift for taking things of very little value, some chemicals and paper or a piece of wood, and turning them into things that you want to hold on to forever, and that are filled with something quite wonderful and that you cherish, really. And 
So imagine what they can do with the people they love. They take these small moments in life and they infuse them with creativity and humor and joy in ways that we've come to cherish even more than any photograph or piece of furniture you're going to make. Um, now speaking to you, as I've said at our wedding, if you're lucky, you get three families in your life. You get the one you were born into, and then if you survive them, <laughs> you get to make one up of your friends and family and the people you come to know. And then finally, if you're really, really lucky, you get to meet somebody and start a family of your own. So all the suspense in your lives of how this is going to turn out is answered tonight. This is how it turns out. You're in a room. You're surrounded by people who love you. You love each other, and you're going to have a wonderful life together, and we all know that. So um, here's the anxiety, though, of getting married. Um, the, uh, the, the vow is not, based on the people I know today, I promise to love you and cherish you for the rest of my life. That's not the vow. The vow is, based on anybody I'm going to meet ever, I promise to love you for the rest of my life. And I can tell you that for this one, you guys have it made. It should be very easy. It should be a piece of cake. Our kids, Miller and Elizabeth, know this about you for the day. We saw Jamie's Cheshire Cat smile for the first time in City Hall, and then when we met Andrew. Um, you're both brilliant, beautiful people who not only have enormous love, but enormous respect for one another, which gets you through everything. And you know how to spin gold out of these ordinary moments in life. And all those moments get to mean something over time. So, you have minds that are capable of knowing what you love and making it happen, and hearts that are big enough to take us all along for the ride. And we know that the big adventure in your life is not happening in Nepal, but it's going to happen when you get home. Mm -hmm. We are all privileged to be part of it, and we love you so much. And on behalf of Jeffrey and me and everybody, all the best to you. Woo!